guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a full face of affordable makeup. So this is going to be an everyday makeup look that you guys can achieve with very affordable, a good price. I'd say reasonably, reasonably, reasonably priced makeup. So without further ado, let's get straight into this makeup look. Don't mind this like head on my face. So I had a pimple and tried to pop it. Guys, I know it's a sick habit. I keep doing it. That's all right. I'm, I'm getting better. Anywho, so first of all, so first of all, I'm going to leave the product and the price on the screen just down below here for you guys if you do want to purchase the um, product just to be able to keep up with like what price is, the price ranges of each product and stuff like that. I thought it would be helpful for you guys. So I'll name the product and I'll have the price and you know all that here okay so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser and I'm just going to press this into my pore areas so around like the cheek and nose area just the kind of center t-zone area and because I've popped my little friend right there it's going to help kind of fill that pore in that I've now like opened it really works a treat this stuff like i swear my pores just are like the gone they gone son it's so good for foundation today i'm going to take my ready set gorgeous foundation from covergirl i'm in the shade 210 and i'm just going in with my beauty sponge from eco tools i absolutely love this brand they're in price line but they're just so Good. like their brushes are amazing um, I just know they're really good for the environment so I'm also totally on board with that as well yeah I'm probably going to need another layer this isn't as full coverage as I first thought it was going to be and I'm super excited today guys because I have a few different products that I'm going to be sharing with you today for this everyday affordable makeup look so I feel like that's as good as we're going to get on the coverage like side without making it too full coverage and cakey. I'll just use concealer to cover up these bad boys and the redness and everything. So for concealer today I'm going to take a different one than what I usually go in with. This is the Rimmel London Wake Up Anti-Fatigue Skin Brightening Concealer with Vitamin C and it's in the shade Classic Beige. And I'm just going to pop this under my eyes um, and kind of highlight the face with it because it is a little bit lighter than my like skin tone and it will just provide a little bit extra coverage which is what I'm going for and I'll also prime my eyelids with this concealer too and again I'm just taking my Eco Tools beauty sponge to blend this out so now I've done like the concealer and foundation we're going to set our base in place I'm going to take my Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder um, in the shade transparent and we're going to kind of set this in place with a dry beauty sponge from Chi Chi. You can go in with a damp beauty sponge I just prefer a dry beauty sponge I think it works best for me anyway. And I'm just setting the areas I get oily all my makeup starts to break apart so around my breakout areas and my t-zone so for brows, you guys have seen my brow routine a million times and I do use affordable products when filling in my brow. So I'm just going to take my Maybelline Master Brow Pro palettes in the shade uh, Soft Brown and Deep Brown. And I'm just going to quickly fill my brows off camera and then I'm also going to set them in place with my Ardell Clear Brow Gel. So there we go, I've done my brows, I filled them in like I said. Um, and I carve them out with a bit of foundation because I've really enjoyed having like a really sleek brow. Even for like an everyday look lately, I've really loved having like the carved out brows. I mean, I still do the natural brow if I'm in a rush, but this isn't a rushed makeup look. This is a very relaxed makeup look. I have done a like two minute makeup routine if you would like to check that out. I'll leave it down in the description bar. But next we're going to move on to giving it this like complexion, a little bit of sculpt, a little bit of bronze. So, for the complexion today, I'm going to take my NYX Contour and Highlight Kit. I mean, what else? What's new in this kind of routine? I am still looking for, like, a bronzer. I have found a couple that I do want to try out. 
but they're more on the expensive side. So I'm just taking those two warm brown shades. You can use this actually to set your face if you would like. You can use that banana shade in the palette or that light kind of um, creamy shade. But I prefer to use that translucent setting powder. I think it works better than those other shades in the NYX palette. But I mean if you want to save yourself a bit more money and not bother purchasing the translucent powder you can totally do that. I always like to start off on the cheekbones here, just really warm them up and then I'll go and move on to the temple and bring it down finally around my jawline. So I do kind of like a number three shape on the face. And I will just slightly hit my nose just a wee bit, nothing too crazy, just a touch. Just have a little bit of like warmth there, look like you've been in the sun, sun baking, I mean heading into summer now so I won't have to like fake it anymore I'll actually have the summer bronze skin I'm so excited so for highlight today I'm going to take my Maybelline master chrome highlighter in the shade molten gold oh it's so pretty oh it just literally makes you feel like a bronzed goddess and I literally use this on days where I'm wearing no makeup and I'll just apply this golden highlight. Um, I use it more in summer, like the summer weather days. I don't usually use this as just like a face highlight in winter because I am a lot lighter in skin tone so my skin isn't as golden, goldeny brown so I don't like to tend to use a gold highlighter. I prefer to use something a little bit lighter but oh, when I'm in, like bronzed up after like living at the beach basically all summer this is such a beautiful highlight to just chuck on like bare skin and it's so cheap as well and oh, it just leaves such a beautiful glow okay guys for eyes I'm actually going to use a different palette than what I've actually ever used on my channel before I'm going to go in with the Rimmel magnifies nude edition eye like shadow palette and I'm gonna keep it super super simple today nothing that you probably haven't seen before I'm just gonna keep it probably like a smoky wing it's a soft eyeshadow look. You can do a date night look. If you would like me to do like an affordable date night makeup look. Oh, actually, that's such a great idea. If you would like me to do an affordable date night makeup look using this palette or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. So first I'm going to take this kind of nudie matte shade from the palette and apply this on a soft um, crease brush from as a waver through my crease. Just as a soft transition. The shade is really soft. I feel like it's the exact same <laughs> like shadow. It's the same shade as my skin tone, so it's not really showing up that much. It's so light. But it's not really a lot of matte shades in this palette. There's a lot of shimmers, not a lot of mattes, which I think they should rethink. So before I continue with any more of those eyeshadows, I'm just going to put a little bit of eye coal along the outer point of my eye. I'm using the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Espresso. I'm using a brown rather than a black. I think a black's a little bit too harsh for a daytime, everyday wearing look. Whereas brown's a lot more wearable. But it's up to you guys if you'd like to use a black. I'm literally just like smudging it along the lash, not winging it out. And bring it to like halfway across my eye. Then on a Morphe M326 brush, I'm going to smudge out that eye coal with some of that brown shade from the Chi Chi palette. And I'm just going to extend a little wing into it as well. Just a soft one. And drag it down a little bit onto the bottom lash line area, just the outer corner. And then I'm taking that transition, oh, a bit too much of that transition colour. <sighs> just taking some of that transition shade, I'm just buffing out that line on the lid so it's not as thick. It just kind of tapers into a wing. Just because, like I said, this is a soft daytime wearable look. So I want it to be a lot softer rather than smoky um, like you would for a nighttime kind of glam. Like that's optimum. Like just something subtle. This is a little bit like nighttime more glamour kind of look. Whereas I'm going for a soft every day. And then for like an inner corner and brow bone highlight, I'm going to take this kind of like soft gold shade from the eyeshadow palette. Got to hit that brow bone. 
And then for mascara, I'm going to take my Maybelline Colossal Mascara. And I'm just using, like, mascara today. I'm not going to go in with any lashes. Just because really on it every day, like... I'm, I'm honestly not bothered to put lashes on. Like, I love wearing them. I just can't be bothered to put them on most days, you know? And before I forget, I might even add like a little bit of like a nude eye curl in my waterline. So this one's from Models Prefer. So for lips, I won't do anything too special. I think I'll just pretty much just keep it nude. I mean, you can, of course, go with a bold lip. I've done a couple of tutorials. I've done a really bold lip um, in them and just kept the eyes quite soft. So I can leave those linked down below if you'd like to check it out. But I think for an everyday, I honestly don't go ham on the lipstick i'm usually quite soft so i think for lips today i'm just going to line them and put like a lip gloss on so firstly i'm going to go in with my rimmel uh, lip liner in the shade 049 natural and sometimes i will sometimes i'll just leave it with that lip liner but today i, I most days i do just want like something moist so i don't really like to wear like a matte lip and i feel like a lip liner is a bit matte so i'm just going to take this lip gloss from Bonjouris Paris in the shade Rose Romantic and I'm applying it mainly to the center of my lips. So this here guys concludes today's affordable makeup tutorial for an everyday kind of makeup look. I really hope you did enjoy it. Got a few tips and tricks out of it and if you would like to purchase any products I'll leave them all linked down below in the description bar for you. I hope you did enjoy me trying out different products that I usually do on like most of my tutorials. I, wore a, I think I, I feel like this whole base basically is something different than what I usually use so I do hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any requests for any upcoming videos or something you'd like to see please leave it down below in the comment section so I'll know to do a video for you guys on that. Otherwise have an amazing day. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.